Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's finish this. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. So this is in the New Testament, guys. So there is an hour of prayer we were not aware of. Now we're becoming aware of these things. Um, we can go any. We can go up into the temple any day because Jesus is the, te is the temple, the Lord in heaven, and Jerusalem above is the tabernacle of God, which is a heavenly tabernacle temple. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they lay daily in the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fasting, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bone received strength bones is it bones? the light is kind of weird there hold on bones received strength and he leaped up this reminds me of the uh leaping of the uh the uh i guess it's the the sheep or something leaps in the in the Old Testament, there's a leaping and a rejoicing. David even did it too. So, I mean, leapy, and that's that's a that's an amazing healing. <laughs> now we know the devil can heal too, so just be careful. You know, hopefully someone's proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and that he came in the flesh, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him and as the lame man which was healed held peter and john oops i'm just going to read it to you guys held um, peter and john all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called solomon's greatly wondering so the porch and when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us as though our, this part's really important. I gotta put this on here. As though by our own power or holiness, you notice the Pope wears white, you know, and does all these things to become holy. He is a false prophet, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing speaking lies in hypocrisy because it's not by their own power or holiness. We had made this man to walk. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, the just shall live by faith, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. That was the, uh, the murderer Barabbas or something. And killed the prince of life. Jesus, the father said, life is in my son. So this is the prince of life, the prince of peace whom God hath raised from the dead. Jesus said, you're going to tear this temple down, and on the third day I'm going to raise it. Whereof we are witnesses, and his name, through faith, in his name hath made this man strong. Because they said, in the name of Jesus Christ, right, of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So if you have faith, it's by faith, they said, the just shall live by faith. He said that by the name of Jesus, it's the name through faith. And his name through faith in his name hath made this man strong. So you just using the name isn't going to do it. His name through faith. You have to have faith when you're speaking his name. That that 
at the name of Jesus, this is going to happen. Whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wot that through ignorance ye did it. So it's okay. You did it through ignorance. You didn't know. As did also your rulers. The rulers do it in ignorance. They don't know. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. He fulfilled it. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ. This is the end. Which before was preached unto you whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things. So Jesus comes, the presence of the Lord, refreshing by the Spirit. He is walking amongst the lampstands, and we get refreshed when he comes. And he will never leave us nor forsake us, it says. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began restitution of all things this is all of creation that had become under darkness um, uh, because of the transgression and so all things are being restored that's what we have to preach to all creatures right and if the light shines on someone, they may, may be made blind for a while. We need to pray God takes them and teaches them and brings them to a place where, or to someone where they can hear the word of the Lord and see, get their sight. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God, this is what Moses said, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren. Jesus was of their brethren like unto me. In other words, the apostle saying, like me, I'm your brethren. Him. Him. Shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Who is that prophet? Well, it says it just said Jesus is that prophet. What does the book of Revelation say Jesus Christ is? He is a spirit of prophecy. How does he restore the kingdom to Israel? Through the spirit of prophecy. Jesus comes at refreshing right here. He's teaching us this right now by his spirit. Praise the Lord. Give him all the glory and honor. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Who's Jesus? The Lord in heaven. He shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times. So these things are happening before Jesus comes. Until the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all the holy prophets since the world began. See, God sees all things. He sees the heart. He knows if you're wicked. He knows all these things. He's God in heaven. So here we see Jesus is a spirit of prophecy in the book of Revelation. So in that verse, he's saying, whoever doesn't hear that spirit of prophecy at the end will be destroyed from among the people. The nation that does not worship him and hear his word are destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and all the prophets uh, and, and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, now, saying unto Abraham and to thy... And not, wait, this is important. 
Ye are the children of the prophets, which means ye are the children of Abraham and of the covenant which God made with our fathers. Okay, the people who are doing that cabalism and all these other things to get their serpent in their spine and make the serpent their king, which is from the bottomless pit coming up out of the sea. That is not the God of their fathers. The God of our fathers is the one that spoke to Abraham, to Noah, the one that spoke to all of all of the prophets, because he's saying he spoke to the prophets, children of the prophets, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. The just shall live by faith. Faith. Noah was just. He lived by faith in the Spirit of God and his commandment. He lived by faith. He believed he lived by faith jesus lived by faith but he was god <laughs> you know but he showed us the ways of life for us the way that we should live by faith in the son of the living god and hearken to the voice of god that by the holy ghost and in that spirit of prophecy just like the prophets the prophets would speak life from the spirit of life and the israelites would kill them the Jews would kill them. Instead of listening to them and doing what they said, then they would be destroyed. They would get enslaved by the devil and his army, or and other, other people would come in and destroy them because it was better for them to be destroyed than to lose eternal life, right? There is always a remnant, always a remnant. Praise the Lord. Let's finish this and then I'm going to stop this video um so it says um ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which god made with our fathers saying unto abraham and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed blessed ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which god made with our fathers saying unto abraham in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed unto you first god unto you first god having raised up his son jesus sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities this is why the commandments of the lord jesus and the apostles are important just like the commandment given to to Adam not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil Jesus by the Holy Spirit of God is given us commandments to turn everyone away from our iniquities this is him giving us our kingdom back our mind back our putting on a mind of Christ is putting on the mind of uh, putting God as our head to reign over us again to give that kingdom back to Israel who through the prophets were given um, land uh, through the spirit of prophecy were given land and everything Madchak and Meshach and Abednego they listened to God and they did not get burned in the fiery furnace so the son of man was with them to keep them from perishing Praise the Lord today while you have time. His feet have fire as if they have our burnished brass as if they burned in a fiery furnace. Think of that one. Agape love to you guys.